Hi, Josh. It's Josh from Lake Bell, Minnesota. And you all are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning, friends and enemies. Just getting rolling here in Brandon. Make sure my trailer's not gonna fall off again. Awesome. Okay, so uh, apparently this Husky here is closed for renovations right now. This is where we spent the night. So I'm gonna go across the street there to uh, the Esso. Grab a coffee there. Had a really good night. I'm ready for this day. So today we will get to our destination. Uh, hopefully. We have 1,088 kilometers to go. 650 miles or so. Somewhere in there. We have 13 hours of driving to get there. So we shouldn't have a problem getting there. And the first thing tomorrow morning, I will be unloading. Apparently there's going to be other trucks there ready to unload too. And my appointment's for 8.30, so I'm going to have to make sure I get up and make sure none of them steal my appointment. Because you know they will. Hopefully we all get unloaded pretty early. And uh, we can all be on our way. I have a lumber load in Edmonton that's waiting for me already. That's going back to Wisconsin. What do you know? My tires are rolling. That means everyone wants to talk to me right now. Good thing I'm just going across the street. Turn left on 18th Street North, Highway 10 and then Turn left at 160 meters. This intersection here is always a little bit crazy to get over with a truck. I'm surprised they don't have lights here yet, but I mean, there's lights just down the road, so. At the front of this lineup, at the light here, there's a, there's a trucker cop. We call them uh, motor carrier enforcement up here. That is, uh, is MCE. Same thing as DOT down in the States, Department of Transportation. And I didn't even make it through that light? Really? That was pathetic. That's where we're grabbing coffee there, right ahead. Uh, it's called Brown's Bistro. There's also a Tim Hortons just off to the left there as well, but we're gonna go to Brown's Bistro. I want some real coffee. The coffee that shall not be named, apparently. There's no names on this coffee. I guess most people just go over to Tim Hortons for coffee so they don't have anything fancy here. I prefer the truck stop coffee. So we're pulling out here. That was nice. Let's see if we can get out of here without losing our truck in these potholes. Oh! Whoa! They always have such bad potholes in this lot. They fix them and then they come back. And then they fix them and then they come back. I always wonder, how do they form, you know? Like this one right here, big one right in the middle. Don't want to hit that. Thanks. Oh, oh, hit it anyways. Okay, uh, I hit the side of it. That wasn't the full thing. Okay, so uh, we're going on to the Trans-Canada Highway 1 westbound. We've got a long way to go. And a decent amount of time to get there. Westbound and down. Let's see this here. Let's see, yeah, most people just go to the light. I'm gonna go to the light as well. It says Trans Canada 1 West, turn right. But then you gotta go down this long gravel road that just tears apart your truck. Or you can just turn left here and get onto the highway at the lights. Nah, I choose the lights. It's easier to get onto the road that way. The police. 
doing what they do. I think that pickup in front of me has got to go first. I don't know if he's going to go, though. There you go. Give her, bud. No, just give her, bud. You could have made it. You could have made it. That's okay. Better safe than sorry. All good. All good. Ow. Oh, man. These, whoa, these roads. Come on, Brandon. Turn right. Whew. All right. Very soon now we'll be on the highway. We'll be on our way. And the day will be underway. Six hours of driving at least. Feels like I've been driving all day already. I don't know why, it's one of those days I guess. Feels like we're just dragging our feet. You need a truck wash, buddy. Wow. We're about to turn here on the north side of Saskatoon. Saskatoon, I just can't help myself. I just can't help myself. That van there has no idea where he's going. He's changed lanes like 15 times in the last couple of blocks. Alright. Ah, let's get here. Let's go, 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 go. This way. This way. Alright. So I'm going to stop here at the Flying J, grab some fuel. Burnt quite a bit of fuel this morning. We're going right against a heavy wind. It's better now, but... Man, did we burn way too much fuel. Two kilometers. Keep to the left on Highway 16 West to Battle Forts. Now we're going to stop by at the truck stop first there, man. Oh, Karen. Almost called you Mandy again. Old habits. I'm surprised she hasn't, like, slapped me. Was that always a Saskatchewan flag up there off to the right? I thought they used to have a Canada flag there. I think they did. They changed it to a Saskatchewan flag. Okay. Cool. Saskatchewan has a nice unique flag. The flag of Manitoba looks identical pretty much to the flag of Ontario, which I don't really like, but I don't really trust them to make up a new flag either because I know they'd ruin it. So we'll just keep the one we have. Uh, it's got the Union Jack in the top left corner and then a crest with a buffalo in it under the cross of St. George. Or the, the English flag, I guess that would be, right? 
Uh, Ontario is exactly the same, except a, instead of a buffalo, they have three maple leaves in the crest. And it's got like a red background. So from a distance, you can't tell them apart. It bothers me. Because we're not Ontario. We're our own thing. Even though people don't acknowledge us very much, but that's okay. It's okay. We sort of like to be in our own little quiet corner. You know? All of our affordable housing. In three kilometers, turn right on Winuskewin Road. Not a lot of people want to live in Manitoba, and that keeps our housing market down. But I mean, all the businesses and stuff, and even me, like for work, obviously you want some growth, but I don't know. I don't know. I like it the way it is right now. 200 meters, make a U turn if possible, and then Karen. right into 150 meters. Karen, we're gonna get fuel first. Told you already. Stopped here many nights. This guy gonna keep going? You gonna keep going, buddy? Driveway's wide open for you, buddy. Put her in gear and give her. Come on. Come on, don't stop. Are you gonna are you gonna stop? I've seen a turtle move faster. Come on. Excuse me, I have got places to be. Must be nice to get paid by the hour. He has no idea what he's doing, does he? All right, so I don't need to buy DEF today. I just need to buy diesel fuel. Let's see what we can, see what kind of deal we can work out here. They need so many more of these flying jays around Canada, or at least around Western Canada. They do really well, they're very popular. But uh, there's a lot of other nice truck stops too. I mean, Husky's done so much work to uh, modernize their truck stops and make them so much better. Petro Canada's done the same thing, they made them so much better. And I really think that's because of the competition that Flying J brought in from the United States. You know, you, you have a big powerful company like that come up here and start building amazing truck stops that everybody loves and everybody wants to go to. It sort of uh, incentivizes you to uh, update your own, right? So now we got really nice Huskies and really nice Petro Canada's across the country too. Out east we have really nice Irvings, but uh, the Irving family has a lot of power out east. They've they've had enough power to keep Flying J out of meters. Eastern turn Canada. Right on. Marcus Drive and then turn left into 160 meters. Like I'm talking like far east, like Maritimes. There's no Flying J there. It's just Irving. And a very rich family has a lot of power out there. I believe they also have uh, a lot of pull in New England, in the United States as well, like in Maine and that area there. Is Maine part of New England? Maine's part of New England, isn't it? I don't really know. Am I in this guy's way? Ah, oh, he can make it around me, no problem. No problem, there you go, you got it. You got it, bud. You got it there, bud. Right on, just give her. Give her there, eh? Okay. Trailer around the corner. We're gonna go straight across on the Mark Lee Drive. Turn left on Lewis Rail Trail, Highway 11. No, we're gonna go straight across here onto Mark Lee, and then continue on down Highway 16 like you wanted me to originally. Yeah, for some reason Karen doesn't know the obvious shortcut right in front of us here, so let us teach her. Coming up on our left there is the the Husky. And also this Motel 6. That's where Britt and I stayed when we were here for Frank's surgery. In 600 meters, turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. Beautiful city. You know, you'd never guess how beautiful Saskatoon is until you explore it a little bit. Britt and I had a short little chance, so a little bit of a chance to explore Saskatoon when we were here. Right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. Hard to tell you about it though, when I've got Karen interrupting me all the time, but 
you ever want to visit a beautiful place, this is a very nice city. Seriously, Karen, you can't just let me have one sentence. Hey, everybody, how you doing? It's the next day. I'm wearing a toque. This is a toque. It's not a beanie. It's a toque, and that means that it's uh, it's cold. It's cold out. Uh, not too cold, but we're getting there, you know what I mean? So I'm just... Uh, getting my logs all set up here. I just unloaded and I wanted to say goodbye to you guys. Uh, we got another guy unloading right here. He had very similar freight to me and my trailer's empty right now. So we're in Camrose, Alberta. And there's all my steel over there on the ground already. So uh, I know I didn't say goodnight to you last night because I was really, really tired and I just wanted to uh, check in with you now and say, hey, it was fun, we're empty. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Say goodbye, Diesel. What were you doing back there? Do I have to edit that out again?